Well, happy weekend, everyone. It's January 16th. It's bright and early on the West Coast. I'm in Las Vegas. I'm in Las Vegas. I don't have my camera on to show you the view of the, sound, uh, the, view of the, the town from my hotel room because I have to show you a lot of what's going on on the screen today. So let's talk about the four football games, the divisional round playoff games this weekend. Late video. I'm sorry. I got into Vegas last night at like 10 p.m. and I was so tired. I just I just, I'm an old man. I was just like, I gotta go to sleep. So I'm up now and working on college basketball and football, but let's talk about the football game. So two games on Saturday, two games on Sunday. Baltimore, Rams, Buffalo, Green Bay today. And then we'll talk about the other games in a second. So let's talk about, yeah, let's look at everything real quick. All right, so what do we have here? We have, we have a Chiefs team that we like beating the Browns. By nine and a half is what the spread is. We think that they're going to win by that 10. That's interesting. Oh, look at how close the projected margin of victories are to the spread there. Uh, I mean, Chiefs have been resting. I don't know what's up with Cleveland. Didn't they have like half their team was new because of COVID last week against Pittsburgh? I, I did not see that game, and I can't speak knowledge. Like, I, I don't understand what's going on with Cleveland. So this is weird. I I don't like taking anybody minus nine and a half, even in a playoff game. So I, I don't know. I don't know what you can do here, other than it's thinking that there's going to be an over. I guess because um, this is the highest scoring game out of all of them. I think 61, 53, 60. Also thinks that this Bucks Saints game is going to be high scoring. That does, that's not a surprise. Let's see what the overs and unders are as well. In these games, so 57 in this game, and this game only got a 51 or 52 over. But the Saints Bucks game, that's interesting. I think that's where you want to grab the over. But let's go back and, and diagnose these games because I also need to look at the injury report. Uh, I do have an updated injury report, and we're going to to move out questionable players and stuff in a sec. But let's just go one by one. So I don't know what to do with the Chiefs, but of course we think the Chiefs are going to win because it's Mahomes, Ravens and Bills. So this is the game I really wanted to look over today. Favors the Ravens by win score, which is the season stat thing that we do. But it's not always the most reliable. What's the most reliable is usually the point projections. Now, let's see what happens when we remove uh, when we remove questionable players, and also let's see what the questionable player situation is after that. So I just pulled out all questionable players. I'm going to refresh the scores. And nothing happens at all there. Is that right? Interesting. Uh, OK. So what that's saying is that the impact of the questionable players on the Ravens looks like, yeah, nobody questionable. No, wait a minute, I got to change this table around. Name, injury status needs to go up. All right, there we go. Yeah, it looks like nobody injured on the Ravens questionable at all. And for Buffalo, nobody is – wow, did everybody get healthy? Is that what this is saying? How about Green Bay today? Nobody? What? Why is everyone healed? Rams? Okay, Cooper Cup, who's a very good receiver for the Rams, is questionable with a knee. Uh-oh. That's 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 trouble. Um, that's trouble actually. He's 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 targeted all the time. So let's go back um, and <clears throat> let's go back. Do, 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 go back to the cube and go back to the picks here. So what that tells me is get scared with the Rams if Cooper Cup is questionable. I know their defense is good, but Green Bay really has been performing all year long. So I, I don't like even taking the Rams plus six and a half because you can see that that Rodgers they can light it up. So it does it does break the Packers are going to win twenty six twenty one. But look and see how close these spreads are. Good God, what did they do to us? That is amazing. this is what happens without point projections, right? Without without uh, you see what that was. This is with without questionable players. That's interesting. You can see how the Chiefs win a little bit more. This game's a little bit lower scoring. Buffalo still wins this game by a point. Man, I wanted to take the Ravens here, but I, I can't. It's it's still 26-27. Hmm. So I guess you can take the Ravens plus three. 
because it thinks it's going to be amazingly close. Uh, but it thinks Buffalo is going to win this game at home. Hmm. And then this game ends up being what? Being a little closer with questionable players in versus out. 29-31. Why does that keep changing? So if you, you pull questionable players out by holding down control and getting rid of that. Then Tampa Bay beats New Orleans. That's what we learned from this. That's the most interesting part of this. So they're at plus 150. And with question, why is that? So let's see what's what's causing that. Bring in the questionable players. Like somebody's questionable on Tampa Bay, and that's causing problems, I think. Ronald Jones with a quad. So it looks like that might be the issue that's changing that game around slightly. Slightly. All right, guys. Um, I don't have all day. I got to do basketball also. Is there anything that we can, any actionable intelligence we can take from this? Well, um, I, I don't know. I don't know how you stay away from the Ravens plus three. But I'm always wrong. I'm always wrong. I think Buffalo's really going to win. Yeah, you know, it's my instinct to go and want to take the Ravens here. So the Ravens are probably going to lose. Like if I want to take them so bad, and that means that Buffalo is probably going to walk over and win this game. And the and the algorithm says Buffalo wins this game. Keep that in mind. Um, very very close. So that the three points that you get with Baltimore is reasonable, but that that's what's happening. And the other game today. So this is a one point game with Cooper Cup playing at full speed, but without Cooper Cup, this changes. Right without questionables. This changes immensely. Take out, whoops. Take out questionables, go back. And this Rams game, they lose by five. So, mm, 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 mm. it makes you not want to take the Rams, even though you're getting this six and a half points. This, this is the tricky part of this game. It's saying don't, don't take that. Ugh, it says take them plus six and a half, but Cooper Cup, ugh, tough. Playoffs is a tough game, tough tough weekend. I, I'm tempted to take Green Bay just to win at, at, a, at a pretty bad line, right? The Green Bay line to win is going to be minus 300, huh? And you got to do minus 400 for the Chiefs. Oh, boy. Um, this is what both looks on the Saturday games are. Uh, when, when, when it's this difficult of a decision, it's, there are, there's probably going to be – there's I think there's like 800,000 college basketball the game, the games today. So if you're interested in just doing this for betting, I would recommend college basketball over these two games. Now, as for watching and enjoying football, I, I want to root for the – this is going to be a good game, this Ravens-Bills game. I want to root for a really good game here and a lot of fighting. I do think that this game is going to be extremely close. I do not think that either team runs away. So in that sense, logically looking at your over-under situation of just 49 or 50, some things that – when you have – Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson really going at each other trying to put points up. How do they not get over the 50 points, right? This is saying they get to 53, but it's also saying super close game. So if you get in this battle where they're trying but drive after drive after drive at the end of the game trying to get points to win, you're going to hit that over. So I think that the over in this game, even though it's in Buffalo and it's probably fairly cold, is a sneaky pick. We saw, we've seen what happens with Lamar Jackson in the cold. He has to run to the bathroom, and then he comes back and runs into the end zone. So I like that. Now, the Packers are probably going to win this game, and it's because they're a better team, even though the Rams' defense is good. Cooper Cup may be questionable, going to hurt the Rams a little bit. Goff probably playing. There's a lot of questions with the Rams. I, 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 you just can't take a minus, it's minus six and a half. Ugh. I just take them to win. I don't know what the over under is going to be like there, and then so, so really it's the over in the Buffalo Baltimore game, and maybe Baltimore plus three, and then Sunday it's the over in this Tampa Bay New Orleans game, and then maybe it's Tampa Bay at plus one fifty because of 
questionable players potentially beat Ronald Jones potentially being out on the Saints, right? So who's out? Or is it he's on Tampa Bay? Anybody out out on the Saints for questionable? Taysom Hill's questionable with a knee and Latavius Murray. Whoa, that's why. That's why the score changed because of these two. So, hmm. All right, I've gone on long enough. I hope you learned something. Uh, we did a lot of handicapping today. I'm on to college basketball as the sun rises across the strip in Las Vegas. Good luck, all everybody. May all your picks be doing the best that they can do. Everyone enjoy a nice weekend of divisional round football. This is this is one of the funnest playoff weeks I feel like right here. This is the the best teams really going at it. Um, you know what the algorithm says to do on the spread is are, are these four games. Um, you know, Kansas City says lay the points. They're going to win anyway. Baltimore because they're going to lose slightly, but they'll cover three. Tampa Bay because they're going to potentially win or barely cover this. I like that Tampa Bay plus three there against the Saints with those injuries. And it says Rams plus six and a half, but you got Cooper Cup injury and Green Bay's been outscoring. So I don't, I don't like this one down here, but, you know, never trust me. Always trust the algorithm. So good luck, everybody.